addition to the lake house the new addition and once again it looked different before the snow melted we've added a hot tub um we do need to make this a little bit more attractive bro what are you wait 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 what's he going what's Got a lot to do today. Yeah, I know, and I just added something to the plate. It's my mom's birthday today, so I know we have plans, but I'm gonna surprise her at the diner, which throws off all of our plans. <laughs> Destroy the enemy. Free fat burner hoodie. Uh, great for cardio. <laughs> When you're in that last, last few minutes of cardio and you need that little extra push, I put a little message here for you. It's a little nod to my song Heartbeat. Practice makes perfect. This will all be worth it. Stop, take a deep breath. This is your last step. You know, get you through those last few minutes in the stair mill. <laughs> Okay, so today we're doing timed circuits. So instead of reps, I'm setting a timer for 60 seconds. We're gonna work some uh, stability work as usual, kettlebell work. We're also gonna do some progressive jumps with the plyo boxes. So increasing in height with every jump in a series Ooh. and then jumping up onto a high box, landing in single leg stance and pausing for 10 to 15 seconds. So, all right, yeah. sounds like fun. There's something about this that I can't do. I used to not be able to do it, now I'm gonna be able to do it. But I used to just try a lock and then slide to the ground. Ah, you son of a... I really don't wanna to fall to the ground and that's exactly what's gonna happen. It's not in the mood today. All right, I'm gonna go lower on the bag so when I fall, I don't fall as far. I'll catch you. Thanks, man. Yeah, right, Sandy. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> See, I'm sorry. You can't be around. It's dangerous. Never again. I'm sorry, man. It's okay. Did I, get, I didn't get you right. Mm. I must have. You wouldn't be faking it. Yeah, I wouldn't fake that. No. The accuracy. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't aiming. <laughs> Hold, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 15, 14, 13, 12. Get it, Kai. Get it, Kai. Get it, Woo! Get it, Kai. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A little. Uh, DTE left in there from yesterday. And it is delicious. A little of that coffee. Can I be done yet? DTE is back. We have two new flavors that we're just releasing. Appleberry and iced coffee. And in celebration, we are doing 20% off site-wide Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Spend 75, you'll get this Destroy Cardio hoodie. Spend 100, you'll get this cardio hoodie and my 2015 Arnold Prep Journal. Use code DESTROY20, runningforthelabs.com. Can't even talk, guys. It's rough out here. They're gonna be just crushing. Thank God I own a protein company. Something mine. Oh. Fucking protein! 
Today we have a pretty action-packed day. We have to go to the Airbnb because my contractor's flying out, so I'm flying a contractor out to live in the lake house with his friend and then renovate it as they live there. Um, the same guys who did the A-frame. I got another a lawyer call today. And we're meeting Austin back here tonight to like sort of brainstorm more about the gym and finalize the setup. So excited. Ooh, it's my mom's birthday. We're gonna go to breakfast with her right now. It'll be dope. A little transition for you. Oh, shit. Please be recording. <laughs> What's wrong there, bud? You can't, you can't get in the truck? I'm just busting my ass this whole trip on you're, everything. You're used to a RAV4, aren't you? Yeah, that's it. One thing about me is I'm not good at like remembering birthdays. I'm not good at like, I'm really bad at presents. So like, one, I forgot about my mom's birthday. Two, I didn't buy her anything for her birthday. Am I an asshole? I'm asking you, Jake. Oh, you're asking me? Yeah, do you think that's like I'm a um, bad son? It's on the line there, man. All right, how about it's this? I retired my mom. I put her on my payroll to retire her early because she was getting tired. And I bought him a house. Okay, I think you're set then. How about that? Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Now, the reason that I don't really fuck with holidays, right, is growing up, um, once again, not poor, but lower middle class. Like, I, the shoes, I, I wore Spalding shoes. Remember Spalding shoes? Yeah. Yeah, like, you used to get them at Kmart. They were, like, $7. It's so, like, I wore Spalding, and I would really only get one pair, one pair of shoes a year. So I'd get shoes at Christmas for... Because they'd kill all the birds with one stone, right? So, like, you'd get your shoes for Christmas that were also your new basketball shoes. So you could wear them all through basketball season. But then they were also your outdoor shoes. Like, they were your everything shoes. So, you know, whatever. Not, once again, not, I'm not trying to sell the narrative of, like, we were struggling. But, like, we were doing it. I don't think my parents ever put a lot of focus on buying presents and like gift giving or really celebrating holidays, I think because we didn't really have all the money in the world to do that, you know what I mean? Like I used to get tennis balls for Christmas and I was fucking hyped, dude. I, like even to this day, a new thing of tennis balls was like, I don't know, opening that pack of tennis balls is like really cool to me or I would get like, you know, just little things like that and I was hype as fuck to open all that stuff but we never really focused on gift giving as like part of a celebration, so. I don't know. I'm gonna pay for breakfast though. <laughs> oh, hello. On to the grocery store. You guys wanna see what I buy at the grocery store? Like what I eat? Comment below, maybe I'll show you. Welcome to the Lakeshore Loft. I haven't been here in a very, very long time. And this is our first uh, Airbnb, a little A-frame. Completely renovated. Redid everything, actually. Redid absolutely everything. Put in these sketchy stairs that are super attractive. Fireplace. Huge view of the lake. Are you gonna fall walking up the stairs? I got this place overlooking the water for $310,000, um, which might seem like a lot, but being that like Whitefish is a resort town, I like lucked out on this. Um, the reason I got it for so cheap, I negotiated with all cash. Um, I've been saving my money for a really long time so that like when I do things like that, I can offer quick closes with uh, like as little headache for the buyer as possible. And then we put $75,000 into this place, which we literally had to touch everything. So like, you know, there was a giant closet here that blocked the view. There was, everything was a mess. And uh, every surface has been re redone. Heating's been redone. Full kitchen's been redone. This, every, everything's brand new, so. We set it up to be as like Pinteresty as possible. Like if you want to come out here, you want to get as many photos as possible. So the one thing we just added, which is why I stopped here, was we added a hot tub because I found out that rentals rent twice as much around here if you have a hot tub. So uh, my lowest month ever was 3.7 and then my highest month ever was like 6.2. 
making $6,200 a month on a house that you're sitting on. And if I turned around and sold this right now, this place would probably sell for like 525 with the equity in it in the last two years. This was like my biggest home run in the real estate game ever. Um, and then after this, we're gonna go see my, I don't know if it's a home run, but it's my, my biggest and my most nerve wracking um, thing. This place is pretty clean. They did a good job cleaner, uh, coming down the, the challenge here. Welcome to the lake house. $1.4 million fixer upper. A lot of work to be done here. It's my first time. I don't come here that often. That view though, bro. Look at that. I don't know, what year is this? If you had to, to pick a year. If I had to pick a year? Yeah. 1982. All right, yeah, it's very like 1982, but Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I got a boathouse. I got a dock. I got a beach. So, this is my newest investment. Houses on the lake, you can't really get them for under 1.7. So I got this place for, it was asking one four, I got it for one three. Uh, it needs a roof. It needs maintenance on the deck. It obviously needs like an entire interior redo. Um, they left everything. They left couches, they left all their alcohol. Um, they left these chairs, which I sort of like. Same thing, kitchen. The only thing new in the kitchen is the microwave. All needs to be replaced. And that microwave is sharp. It's a nice mi microwave. Everything else is like, look at this thing. This is, bro. I got some food for you. Trifecta cilantro brown rice with tofu. Hell yeah. Obviously, like once we redo the floors, we get all this furniture out of here. We're gonna relocate that fireplace. We're actually pulling that fireplace out, and we're gonna because I love that fireplace. But we're gonna we're gonna pull this out, and I'm actually building. I own a, a 12 acre farm where Jake's staying right now. And we're actually gonna build an A-frame in the woods around this fireplace. So it's gonna be like in the center of the room is the focal point of the cabin. We're gonna actually pull all this out so that all your seating goes here and looks out to the water. TV up there. We're keeping the spiral staircase, redoing the kitchen, making a bigger island, better light fixtures, everything like that. So it's gonna be a lot of work. Master bedroom's dope. I normally don't like glass like doors, but I do like that like you always just are forced to look outside now. So a little deck here, you know, once again, good view. The bathroom, this is something I don't like, but it's one of those things that's like, don't knock it till you try it. Once again, this all needs to be replaced, everything. But carpet in the master bathroom, when you wake up in the middle of the night to pee and you wander in and you're like, the carpet feels so good on your feet, especially this shag carpet. And then you're, as you're peeing, you're like, this is disgusting. What is this? What is what? Oh, bro, that's like a heat lamp. I don't know how to turn that on. Oh, wait. It's like, it's like when you're raising like, uh, like when you got like reptiles and you're trying to keep them warm. <laughs> I don't know. So I think it's four bedroom total. Bro, I'm just getting you with the stairs, stairs. We'll go down here. So we can't, we cannot relocate the spiral staircase. Unfortunately, like it's always gonna be in the center of the house, but we're gonna try to make it cooler. Um, there was a hot tub in this room, but now it's like weird TV room. Very like lake house, cabiny feel. Um, oh, I didn't see that, Jesus. That's not nice, that sucks. Luckily they left us beds, bed frames and everything like that. So that's gonna save us a lot of money. So there's a lot of, a lot of things where we're gonna be able to save money with beds, but a lot of the beds we're gonna add bunk beds. We're gonna do like less invasive furniture. Pretty much the goal with this house is to be able to fit as many people in here as possible. Because honestly my mortgage on this place is I think $8,200 a month or 70, $7,800 a month is mortgage on this place. So, if we can fit as many people as we can in all these rooms, 
with the lake front and everything like that, I'm thinking like on season, we can probably get a thousand dollars a night for this place. I mean, we ran the comp, I think it, we ran it $600 a night at 50% occupancy. We are, we like break even or something like that. So at a thousand dollars a night, which on Whitefish Lake, you'll get that. Um, and once we're done and we make this place look dope, we'll get that. So ideally we'll be making more and I can start paying it off faster. But this is my nerve wracking one. I've never had a mortgage before. That's like close to $8,000 a month. Do you have any questions, Jake? Carpet. Linda Mustang. All right, so here's like deck number two. Um, same thing, we gotta do, redo all the railing. Um, we gotta put in a, a wall down here. I'll show you. You're doing really good walking downstairs with the camera. Yeah, and I'm wearing socks, so I'm trying to why are you wearing socks? Because I didn't want to... We're I don't going know. down to the beach, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I can't believe you're wearing socks to the beach. I can't believe you're wearing socks. It's normally not this windy. Actually, I'm filming it. All right, what do you want to talk about? So I've never, I've never really even bought like a property for over a uh, million dollars, except for our last warehouse. And that made like super clear sense to me, right? But starting with that little A-frame, we sort of bought that for like half ourselves, half to rent. And once we started renting it, and we started to realize like the income that it could make, because I have money in the stock market too, right? And I'm not seeing a lot of dividends. For, I'm not seeing any dividends. And like even how much money I'm making in my retirement and my stocks, it's not something like tangible that I can, that I feel like is a thing. Like I feel like it could all just get deleted and go away. So I wanted to start dabbling in real estate. So once we got that place and I started to realize that like, oh no, there's like an actual income. So even if I fully finance that place, for 400, I'd still be making two grand a month and paying for it, which is crazy, right? So as soon as that happened, I realized, ooh, I'm gonna stop buying like nonsense, not that everything I buy is nonsense, but like not as many 9-11s, like all that stuff that like, I'm like, I'm realizing that like, no, I can buy that. It's sort of a set it, forget it, passive income that now is like generating money. Once I did that, that's what sort of kicked my dreams on, which is why I bought, I bought the river house, I bought the farmhouse, um, those two Airbnbs we're actually gonna build in back of the farmhouse, build like another little uh, cabin back there on those other six acres. And then this big one. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to like, I've, I've been trying to get my feet wet with, with smaller purchases. And this is the first like big boy purchase, but I think it's gonna work. But like long-term goal, dude, I wanna own like apartment complexes. Like I've realized that now that like, I wanna own big boy real estate. And I'm like working my way up there. A year ago or a year and a half ago, I never would even thought that I was gonna own this place. Like this would have been totally out of my mental capacity or realm or whatever you wanna call it. But now that this place exists, like I have two months to get contractors in here, flying them out from Pennsylvania, renovate the whole thing on the cheap, make sure we take everything in consideration, get this place rented. Like if this place becomes profitable, and I realized that like, okay, cool, a $1.3 million purchase, I can turn into a profitable business. Like, dude, I'm gonna start looking at, at hotels and apartment complexes, 100%. It's just me always trying to take bigger risks and scale bigger. I'm not there yet, but like, if this works, then I'll figure out how to get there. Do you have any other questions? What's the meaning of life? I think it has to be individual to everyone. Like, I think my meaning in life is like, I just like to, to progress and then make sure I feel enjoyment, whatever in, whatever in life brings me enjoyment, that obviously makes me feel really good, and then progress makes me feel really, really good. But like somebody else, progress might just stress them the fuck out, you know what I mean? Like my mom doesn't want to progress. I know she watches this. But like she's not, she's not really interested in a lot of stuff. Like she's just happy like existing, and that brings her enjoyment. So I, I think there's an element of just enjoyment about life, but then also getting better I think is very important. 
but I don't think that everyone holds that in the same uh, high regard. What do you think the meaning of life is? It's a weird question to ask me right now. Put me on the spot, man. You just put me on the spot. Yeah, that's my job. Hmm. Experiencing as much as you possibly can. Yep. Growing as a person and giving back and helping others. Those are pretty vague, but I think if you can kind of intertwine them all throughout your life, you'll be deeply fulfilled. Mm -hmm. No more hard questions, bro. Ask me a simple question. What's your favorite color? Green. That's all I got. They're good questions. Are we going to sign out for the day? Yeah, you want to do it? All right, let's sign out for the I day. I got to start measuring and picking out like what we need to replace and get all that information in the contract. So I got work to do. Oh, and by the way, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. I have a little goal to get my channel to 100,000, which we're moving sort of slow, so tell your friends. Also, how was that for a little bit more in-depth about real estate? I could go like even more in-depth, like maybe I could get a whiteboard, but I don't know if you guys want that. Tell me guys what you want, comment below. That was more in-depth, but I'm not sure if it was deep enough. Transition again. Hey.